There we go. <laughs> All right, hello, lovely people, and welcome back to um, the Mondschein Sonata First Movement by Beethoven. Um, we'll be doing day number five today. Time flies, and uh, as said yesterday, um, maybe just to spice it up, I'm not going to start with the run because I want to focus a bit on the middle part as it still feels a little bit off. Um, so we're going to do that at the beginning, then we're going to do a run, see how it feels. And my kitty just came in and I hope she won't jump on the piano. If she does, then I will briefly stop the timer and uh, do this again. So here we go. Let's start the timer. Okay, we're going. Let's get the... What was the tempo again? Alright, and for the middle part. And if you hear any rumbling, that's Evie playing in her tunnel.
Welcome back. So, uh, I had a little technical problem. All of a sudden, the, the camera stopped recording in the middle of my run. So, I will do the run again, but I'll make sure that the timer is set to... It was about 7 minutes and 15 seconds. So, that means... Let's do math. Uh, 7 minutes and 45 seconds, right? Um, so, let me do just that. And then, kind of... It'll be at least similar to what it should be. Um, I know and say, you know, it means that I have read through the beginning, but okay. Um, it is what it is. So here we start the timer for the second time, but this time for 7 minutes and 45 seconds. I apologize for the disturbing. Still recording, thank god. <laughs> um, you notice that I try to keep playing no matter what's happening. That is definitely part of a performance practice, not necessarily a recording practice. Um, but of course a lot of times recording sessions they do like you to have a full take and then only to have to edit bits and pieces if, if you want to. Um, but sometimes also some recording engineers just encourage you to go until you feel like, okay, there's been too many mistakes, I'll stop. And then uh, you go back. It kind of, it, it really depends and it, it most certainly depends on what you're recording for. Like if you're doing an audition tape or so, you want to be able to keep going. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do, even if Evie is making a lot of noise in her tunnel. I don't know if you can hear that, but she was scrambling around a bit. Um, or, you know, sometimes I do seem to forget, like, <laughs> a melody note, <laughs> which is, I mean, um, forgetting is, is maybe the wrong word, but I read it and then I don't play it or it doesn't speak. Um, it's a very odd thing that I should be very careful about. This also, this little chord always scares me, I never expect it. I feel a lot more secure in this. I think, you know, with one more day it'll be fine and even, you know, if I can do it in this heat then I'll be able to do it in a recording session um, for sure. The thing tomorrow I think that I want to um, really aim for is to do it with a metronome from the beginning to just have the, the tempo really, really solid but this time with pedal. And here's our timer, um, which is why I kept talking and not necessarily playing. Um, and overall, it feels pretty, pretty solid. So, let's see how we can ramp it up, I guess, tomorrow, um, as best as we can, and then hopefully we're ready for the recording session. Of course, there's more stuff to do than just this, so I'll dive into that right now. No matter how sticky <laughs> I feel because of the humidity inside. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow for the last day of Beethoven's Bonchain Sonata first movement. Bye bye.